Oh, hey guys, DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome to another gig log. If you like this booth here, you can build one yourself with my DIY plans. I have a full cut list on my website, djlowstacks.com. That's D-J-L-O-S-T-A-X dot com. Check it out. Full cut list, all the 8020, all the PVC, TV, plexiglass, all that. Keep in mind, this is not a tutorial, it's not a walkthrough, it's just the cut list. But it'll give you all the materials and a whole bunch of pictures of the booth during the process of me building it. I also wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored by Ghost Energy, but it should be because it's delicious and I love it. What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today is Sunday, October 8th. Sunday wedding, first one of the year, and I think it's my only one booked this year, but today we are at one of my favorite venues, Bay Point Woods. I'm a little biased because I got married here in November, but anyway, today we've been working with, uh, we've got the Evox 12s running, uh, what are we, running four, six, six Astera tubes. we got the video booth as usual. Uh, running the Rain 70, two Rain 12s. I'm not using the IEM tonight. And let's see, what else we got? That's it, that's it, nothing new. I don't know, it's the same stuff. No photo booth tonight, we just got ceremony. Ceremony rig is gonna be get, getting up, set up outside. That's about it. Until midnight. Oh yeah, we're going till midnight. Yeah, thanks Andrew. We're going till midnight on a Sunday. So uh, I'm, a, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hopefully we make it. I don't know how, I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, if we can get them dancing, we should be able to get them to go till midnight. I feel like a lot of people are staying here tonight, so that's gonna be super helpful. But we got about an hour until ceremony kicks off, so I'm getting ready to get changed, get my suit put on, and uh, start playing some prelude music here in a few minutes. So I will see you guys later on the dance floor. So I did wanna give you guys a couple updates on the ceremony booth. So we are still running the two EWD mics, but I did add a Furman power conditioner, and I switched, I'm using a different battery pack. So I got this Jackery, it's like a 380 or something like that. This is from Harbor Freight. It was like uh, about 300 bucks. But the Yeti one that I had decided to take a crap on me. So I upgraded to this one. It's a little smaller, but it's brand new. So it's actually lasted longer than the Yeti has time-wise. I think the Yeti battery was getting a little worn down. But yeah, I've still got the pole set up here, running just one of these Everse eights. So pretty convenient. I actually could leave it on there if I didn't have to take it off to take the cover off the uh, booth. But super simple, like do that. I leave the, the Yeti or the Jackery hooked up. So all I have to do, literally grab my laptop, plug it in real quick. Turn it on and we're ready to go. Super convenient and I can wheel this thing around wherever I want. I got this 50 foot XLR in here. If I want a daisy chain over to my second Everse 8. Uh, I thought about a wireless option for that, but running the 50 footer is just tried and true. And you know, you're not, you're not gonna get any signal issues or dropouts with that. Uh, only a couple venues that I think I, that I would need to run two speakers. Black River Barn, he saw me do it there. Uh, but here it's nice and quiet on this back side of the building. So just gonna be running the one Everse and one lapel mic. And uh, that's it guys. Best man. Can you have them stand up? Cups, you know, I hate disposable anything. But right, right. 
side. I'm going to introduce them. They're going to come in. I got the mic here for you. Welcome to the wedding celebration of Laura and Chris. <laughs> 